Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. If you've ever had to decommission an old Mac, perhaps to give it away or maybe resell it, you probably want to make an archive of everything that's on the drive. You never know what you might need that's on there. Let's take a look at how to do that on this episode of MacMost Now. Okay, so archiving an entire hard drive can be tricky, especially if you've got a ton of stuff on it, like maybe 100 gigs or more. You can't fit that on a DVD, so what you need to do is get an external hard drive. First let's look at what you should be backing up and then let's look at how to do it. Okay, so let's take a look at what you should be backing up. Here we've got your hard drive and you should have at least four folders at the main level. Applications, Library, System, and Users. Inside Users you should have all the users on that machine. Your main user and any extra ones you've got. Also a shared folder. Now you can look inside there and you can see that you've got a Documents folder and you think well if I back up my Documents folder I should have everything. But that's not the case. You've also got Movies, Music, Pictures folders, anything that's on your desktop. So you probably want to back up the entire user folder. Now at the main level you probably also want to back up your library folder. One of the most important things in your library folder that a lot of people forget are the fonts. Now if you're a graphic designer or some sort of graphic artist you probably use all sorts of different fonts and some may end up in here. So having a backup of that is very handy. There's also a lot of other stuff in here and usually it's not very big so you want to back up the library folder. Applications is also useful because you may have some shareware or freeware that you downloaded that may be hard for you to get new copies of. So you back that entire thing up. Your system folder is kind of optional though because you should be able to recreate that by simply reinstalling Leopard on any new machine. Okay, so now the program we're going to use to back everything up is called Disk Utility and it's in your Applications Utilities folder. Now inside Disk Utility you'll be able to see on your left all your drives. So here's the main drive and in it is one partition, your Macintosh hard drive. That's where all your stuff is. And then here's an external drive I've hooked up and there's one partition on that called MacMost Video in this case. Now you could just simply start copying files from one to the other. But I found a much better way to do this is to create a disk image. A disk image is like a virtual hard drive as a file on a hard drive. So you can create this one file and then you open it up and it's like having another hard drive on there. The great thing is when you're not using it, it just sits there as one single file and it's not taking thousands and thousands of files and showing them to you. So to create that you go to Disk, disk Utilities File Menu and you can go and say New and Blank Disk Image. You can also quickly create a disk image from a folder or from an entire disk. But the best way to do this I've learned is to create a blank disk image. And once you do this you have a lot of different options. These options are basically to give it a name. So you create it as say Backup. Uh, you say where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it to this external drive. You also get a volume name. So when you mount this, this uh, sort of virtual drive it has a name. I'm going to use the same name here. Now there's a lot of different sizes that match a lot of different things like CD-ROMs, DVDs. What we want to do is create a custom one and you want to make sure this is bigger than all the files that you need to save. So let's say if you're going to back up 150 gigs worth of stuff create a 200 gig drive. Now don't worry this is not going to take up 200 gigs worth of space. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and change the image format from a regular disk image to a sparse disk image. What a sparse disk image is, is it's an image that will grow in size with what's on it. So it's going to have 200 gigs on it but it will only take up maybe say 100 megs if all you have on the disk are 100 megs worth of stuff. Then we're going to go ahead and create that. And that will go ahead and create this file on there and then we can mount it and start moving files to it. Okay, now that we've created this drive we see it appear here on the left in Disk Utility. We also see that if we go ahead and open up a Finder window we'll see it appear here as a regular drive and it's empty. Now we can just simply start dragging stuff from one Finder window to another. So we'll go ahead to our Macintosh hard drive. Say we want to drag all of users over to this and we can just add it to it. And then the file itself if we go ahead and look on the MacMost video drive you can see it shows up there as backup.sparse image and we get info on it we can see that it's actually only 99 megs even though it's set for many gigabytes. And it will grow in size as we add things to it. And that way we keep adding things to it uh, until we've backed up everything we want. So say we take our users folder and the libraries folder and the applications folder. Move them all there. Then we have a complete backup inside of a single file. Now you've got a backup of everything that was on that drive and it's there as one file on an external hard drive. And I go ahead and give away or sell that Mac without worrying about losing any of your data. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.